Hi everyone, welcome back to Circle Time. My name is Miss Kaya, and today we're gonna to be talking all about bugs and insects. So exciting. I've drawn a few bugs and insects on my whiteboard here. Should we take a look at them? Let's see. We have at the bottom, we have a grasshopper, a ladybug, an ant, a bee, I remember the bee from last week, do you? And we have a worm. All of these bugs and insects are so important to have in our world because they help with things like helping things grow and helping with soil for plants and flowers and all of our fruits and vegetables. They're really, really important to have. So, Today for the circle time, we're gonna be doing a big stretch to start. We'll do our poem here, and then we'll do a really cool science activity that you can try at home, and then we'll do our goodbye song. So should we get started? Okay, we're gonna start off with our stretch. Remember with your stretch to be aware of what's around you. Maybe you have other friends or siblings around you, or maybe you're in a living room or your bedroom with lots of beds and couch and furniture. Just make sure you're aware of what's around you so you don't bump into things and hurt yourself, okay? Okay, now you can do this sitting down like me or you can stand up if you'd like. All right, so for the first one, we are going to stretch our arms up to the sky. Reach as high as you can and give your back and arms a nice stretch. And say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What time is it where you are? Is it the morning, afternoon, or evening? It's morning here for me. Good stretching. Now for our second one with our arms up, we're gonna make a kite. So for this one, we're gonna put our hands together and shoot them up over our head. Amazing. We're gonna lean to the left, over, over, lean. Are you getting farther this week? I'm getting farther by stretching my body lots. The more you stretch, the more bendy you can become. So the more you practice, the better you can get. Awesome, let's switch over to the other side, to our right side, awesome. I feel a stretch all along my sides now. Amazing kites. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna scoot up just a little bit because we're gonna bend backwards for this one. This is our waterfall. So hands up over our head again, and very carefully, we're gonna lean back. Make sure not to go too far back because we don't wanna hurt our backs or our necks or anything. We wanna be very gentle. Amazing. Come back up slowly. You don't want to go too fast and get dizzy. Okay, our arms and our backs are awake. Should we do our butterfly now? For our butterfly, we're gonna sit down for this one and put our feet together. So give your feet a kiss and open up your legs. See my knees here? They're gonna flap like butterfly wings, up and down, up and down. And hey, a butterfly is a bug or an insect. That's amazing. We were just talking all about bugs and insects. Awesome flapping, everyone. You can hold your butterfly pose if you'd like. Sit nice and tall. Amazing butterflies, everyone. Okay, let's do our toe touch. So stretch out your legs nice and long like this. Both of them side by side, and you're gonna bend over and touch your toes. Are you getting farther this week? Can you touch your toes? Can you touch your knees? How far can you go? Awesome. Maybe you can go a little bit past your toes and wiggle your fingers. Awesome. Okay, let's sit crisscross applesauce. And remember our breathing exercise? We smell the cake and we blow out the candle. Are you ready to do it with me? So let's smell the cake. Pretend you have a cake in front of you. Ready? Breathe in. Breathing in through the nose and we're gonna blow out the candle with our mouth. Ready? 
Awesome. We're gonna do this two more times. Ready? Hold your cake, breathe in and smell it. And blow out the candles. One more time, breathe in through your nose, smelling the cake. And blow out the candles. Awesome. Could you smell what flavor your cake was? Mine was strawberry flavored cake, my favorite. Mmm. Okay, lastly, can everyone show me your big smile? Show me your teeth and smile. What do we say when we smile? Maybe cheese. Awesome smiles, everyone. Okay, are our bodies awake now? Mine is. I feel nice and loose and like the blood is moving around in my body. Okay, let's hop into our poem here. This one's a little bit different this week because it's kind of like a song or a jig. It rhymes a little bit and it helps us practice our counting. Are we ready to get into it? Okay, the poem is called Five Little Ladybugs. Can you show me five on your fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, five little ladybugs. And it goes like this. Let's get our pointer. Five little ladybugs climbing up a door. One flew away and then there were four. Four little ladybugs sitting in a tree. One flew away. So we have four. And then there were three. One, two, three. Three little ladybugs landed in a shoe. One flew away. And then there were, we had our three, we take away one and there are two. Two little ladybugs looking for some fun. One flew away. And then there was, we have two little lady, ladybugs. You take away one and we have, one, one little ladybug sitting in the sun. He flew away and then there were none. Amazing, should we do it one more time? You can do it at home with me and show me your fingers, okay? So we're gonna start with our five little ladybugs and then we're gonna eventually get to none because they all flew away. So show me your five. One, two, three, four, five. Are we ready? Okay, the title is Five Little Ladybugs. Here we go. Five little ladybugs climbing up a door. One flew away and then there were four. Four little ladybugs sitting in a tree. One flew away, and then there were three. Three little ladybugs landed in a shoe. One flew away, and then there were two. Two little ladybugs looking for some fun. One flew away, and then there was one. One little ladybug sitting in the sun. He flew away and then there were none. They all flew away. All right, good job, friends. We did our poem of the day, which is a little bit like a song and counting thing this week. Should we get into our letters and numbers? We should definitely practice them. Does anyone remember what our letter and number of the week was last week? Hmm, it was the first letter of the alphabet and the first number. Let's see. Last week we had the letter A. A for a a a a a 
alligator. This week, for our letter of the week, it's going to be the second letter in the alphabet. And it's the letter B. B is for B, B, bear. Can you say B, B, bear? Amazing. B for the let for the animal bear. Amazing. So we'll put our letter here. B is for bear. B is also for bug. So cool. All right. Last week's number of the week was the number one, the very first letter in our number line. And this is what the number one looks like. Very simple, just a big line down. This is what the number one looks like using blocks. One block. And this is what it looks like for animals. Just one flamingo. And the flamingo was on one leg. The number one. Awesome. For this week, we're gonna do the second number in our number line. Hmm, what number could that be? The number two. Can you show me two on your fingers? Awesome, let's do that again. One, two. These match. I have two on my fingers and my two number card. If I flip it over, we can count the blocks. Ready? One orange block, two orange block. The number two. This is what the number two looks like with animals. I have one rhinoceros, two rhinoceros. I have two animals. Let's count them again. One, two. That's the number two. Awesome job, everyone. So our letter of the week is B. B, B, B. That's the sound it makes. Do you know any other words that start with B? Bear, ball, boy. See how they all make the B sound in the beginning? Our number of the week is two. This is what it can look like on your fingers. This is what it looks like when we write it out. And this is how many animals it looks like. Two rhinos. Awesome. Okay, let's do our science experiment. Are you ready? For today's science experiment, this is a really cool one that you can try out at home. Make sure you talk with your family or your mommy or daddy about it before or whoever's a parent at home because this one is very important that we keep it outside. Bugs are really, really great for helping with our plants and our flowers and other animals, but it's not always the best if we have bugs inside our house, especially if they're on our floors. You know, sometimes they might eat our food and they're not always good for us. So sometimes we have to keep the bugs and insects outside. So if you want to do this activity, make sure you talk to your family. So if that's a parent or an older sibling or grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, whoever's at home, make sure you talk to them first to help you with this science experiment, okay? For this science experiment, what I did is I got some food around my house and I got different flavors of food. Do you know the different flavors we can taste? We have our taste buds on our tongue and they help us identify what something can taste like. Maybe it'll taste sweet or salty or bitter or sour. I know lots of foods that make me go like this because they're very sour and lemon is one of them. So this is my sour food. 
I want to see what bugs are attracted to. I want to see what kinds of things bugs like to eat. What do you think bugs like to eat? We know bugs usually eat things like maybe grass or other insects, but if we were to give them some of our food, what do you think they would like? So I cut up a lemon. Ooh, very sour. I cut up a lemon and I'm gonna put it in a tray. Next to the lemon, I put some sweet things. One of my favorite fruits, strawberries. Mmm. You smell them and they smell like candy. Mmm, I'll take a little bite. Mmm. So I cut up some strawberries. They're so sweet. And I put them beside my lemon in a tray. Next, I did something salty. One of my favorite treats that I only have sometimes. I took some salty chips. Mmm. You can almost smell the salt on them. So these ones are really good, only sometimes as a treat. They're really nice and crunchy and they're very salty. Mm. So they're kind of like sour. They don't make you quite go like that face, but they are very salty. Okay, and I did my last one bitter. Bitter's a little bit of a tricky one because it's not quite salty, not quite sour. It's kind of hard to describe sometimes, but when I think of bitter, I think of coffee. Maybe someone in your family drinks coffee. It's a really warm, sometimes cold black liquid that maybe someone older in your family drinks. I know I like to drink it every morning on ice. It's so yummy to me. Maybe when you're older, you can try some coffee. So I have some coffee grounds and coffee grounds come from coffee beans. So when you take the coffee bean and you grind it up really, really small, they turn into this. And then you can add water to it and it becomes the coffee drink that you see. So let's come close and I'll show you exactly what I did. I took everything in a little pan. Let's see if you can find it over there. In a little pan and you can label it. So we could label it sweet, sour, bitter, my coffee at the bottom, and salty. And what I wanna do is leave this outside. Make sure it's not in your home on the floor. We wanna make sure it's outside, kind of away from our doors or our windows. And we wanna see what the bugs and insects are attracted to. What do we think they like? Hmm. Well, if I was doing this experiment, I know I would like the sweet stuff the most. Maybe at home, maybe you like the salty things the most, or maybe you like the sour things the most, or maybe you like the bitter things the most, who knows? We wanna see what our bugs outside like to eat. What do you think it'll look like if we were to leave this overnight? Do you think all of the bugs would like one thing? Or do you think they'll try different things? Hmm. So you can try this one at home and tell me what happens. What foods did you put out? Where did you put it? And what did the bugs like the most? Really cool science experiment. Okay, friends, should we sing our goodbye song? I need to practice our goodbye song. All right, I have my words to my goodbye song. Maybe you remember them better than I do. Okay. So our goodbye song has some actions in it. Do you remember it? It goes like this. See you lady alligator. Give a hug ladybug. Blow a kiss goldfish. Bye bye butterfly. Be sweet parakeet. See you soon raccoon. Should we do it one more time? Okay, last goodbye. Are you ready? See you later alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, goldfish. Bye-bye, butterfly. Be sweet, parakeet. See you soon, raccoon. Bye, friends. Have a great day. We'll see you very, very soon.